Hi, my name's Brian and I've been working virtually for over 10 years. And now that I've got a team of over 160 staff working virtually, I've had to put in place some rules and principles. For example, when my son decides to come in the door, give me a hug and a kiss and tell me he loves me, he's only eight, you know, we've put the rule inside our home that he's allowed to do it. But he's allowed to also ask a couple of questions of someone I'm on a video call with. They can answer him, they can ask him some questions, but he knows that within a minute, he has to excuse himself, you know, you know, thank the person for saying hello to him, say goodbye, and he exits. He knows I'm in a meeting, he won't come back again. So we live in a new world. We have had to put in place in our home new rules. Same for my 160 staff and for myself. We've got some rules for video calls. For example, you know, six to eight hours of every day, I'm on Skype, I'm on Zoom, and I'm on Teams. Three different video platforms. But the rules are the same across the board. So let's go for it. Here are the rules. Number one, making sure that for us, we show up three minutes early for every meeting before we meet with other people. That means if there's multiple people on our side, we get to check our microphone, speakers, our lighting, our internet, make sure that everything's working. So when someone else joins from the outside our organization, it's seamless. They don't even know that we've done all these checks. Second point, second rule, make sure you're definitely showing up on time. Now our rule is three minutes early. For others, I've been waiting on a video call for 15 minutes and the person joins and says, oh, I emailed you to say I was gonna be running late. Later on, because I only check my emails once a day, maybe twice, I check to see when they emailed me and often after the meeting had already started. Pretty disrespectful in my opinion. If you've done it to me before and you're watching this video, eh, it's okay, I still like you. But you know, it's really important if you can be on time. The next one is don't multitask. You know, don't be answering other messages, looking down. You, know, you might think that you're looking straight ahead, but your eyes are moving side to side. You're looking at your phone. People can tell you're distracted. Even if there's 10 people, you know, they can tell that you're distracted if you're not looking at the camera. And that takes on to the next one. Participate, interact is the next rule. Making sure that not only are you active and you're watching and listening, but you're listening to what everyone else is saying and making sure you're taking it in, absorbing it, maybe writing a couple of notes down, but then when it's your turn to talk, you can talk to the different points that other people have made to show that you're participating, to show that you're interacting. Super important to do it. The next rule is to stay visible and make sure that there's nothing that's gonna distract you throughout the, the meeting. Now that's different from multitasking. A distraction might be, I've got a beautiful window out here with a beautiful garden, now and then I've got kangaroos. I'm serious, I've got kangaroos that go into our yard. We live in a small country, rural town, and kangaroos are all through our property. So I've got to make sure that I don't get distracted by a kangaroo literally hopping around in my garden. Same might be said for you if you're at home during COVID or any other time, and you've got children out there or your partner walks past. You've always got to stay visible and stay focused in your meeting. Um, the last one, and it's a, it's a pretty key one for me, is always make sure that you've got your positioning right. Now, I know we talked a bit about the start with my team doing it, but you by yourself, you need to turn your camera on before the meeting. Make sure that your head is in the right spot. You don't want to be you know, only showing your forehead, or you don't want to be too high or off to the side. Making sure that the, the background is suitable for your environment. So, you know, having good visible display, you being visible, super important. That's it. There's all my tips. I hope you got a lot out of it. Um, and yeah, follow me if you want more tips and strategies. Thanks.